Hey guys, today we're going to look at association versus causation. We're going to answer the question, how do I tell the difference between an association and causation? So association is when two variables are related, but the independent variable affecting the dependent variable has not been proven. There may be an association or a pattern between the two variables, but that does not automatically mean there is a causation. A causation is a special type of association where the independent variable has been proven to affect the dependent variable. So you can actually prove what is happening to the independent variable to affect the dependent variable in a causation. The input is going to cause the output to happen in a causation. So now we're going to look at a few situations and determine if they represent association or causation and why. So let's look at this first one. As the temperature outside increases, so does the number of ice cream sales. So this would be an association because although there might be a pattern between the increased temperature and the ice cream sales, the increased temperature is not causing the ice cream sales to happen directly. So the increased temperature is not directly causing the ice cream sales. All right, let's look at number two. Macy has a gift card to a local coffee shop. The balance of the gift card decreases with every coffee she purchases. So this is a causation because every time she buys a coffee, that gift card balance is going to decrease. So this is causation because purchasing coffee is causing the balance to decrease. All right, number three, Riley notices that students with longer last names score better on their math test. So this would be an association. While that might be true, it, we know that it's not the long last name that's gonna cause them to score better on their math tests. So a longer last name does not cause a better math score. Number four, a survey found that there was a negative association between students who owned a cell phone and ride the bus to school. So this is another association because if you ride your bus to school, that's not gonna determine if you have a cell phone or not. So we can say owning a cell phone does not determine whether you ride the bus or not. Number five, an experiment showed that there was a positive association between the number of cigarettes smoked and the probability of developing lung cancer. So this would be a causation because that has actually been proved. So it has been proven that smoking causes lung cancer. Number six, the cost of pizza increases as the number of toppings increases. So this would be a causation because that's actually going to happen. The more toppings you buy, the more it's going to cost. So the increased number of toppings
causes the price of the pizza to increase. Number seven, a police, policeman noticed that more red cars receive speeding tickets. So this would be an association because it's not like having a red car is going to cause you to get a speeding ticket. So the color of the car is not what is causing speeding tickets. And last one, as the time spent exercising increases, so does the number of calories burned. This would be a causation because exercising does cause calories to be burned.